<laughs> You're there. What happened? You shut me off. No, it froze. Froze. It froze. How, how, how are, are you, you, sweetie? I'm doing I'm good. great. I'm good. Are you hanging in there or what? I am hanging. Uh, I'm in Delray Beach right now. You're in Florida. I've been here since March 1st. Oh, my goodness. How's the weather out down there? It's um, sitting under a palm tree right now. Must be nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting in front of a cigar store. Okay. That's been closed since 8 o'clock. Okay. But, of course, you got your cigar. And you probably I have got my more. cigar. I got my seat. Okay. Okay. I got my, you got I got your my drink. cranberry and orange juice. Yeah, your, your drink that doesn't have alcohol in it. I don't Which know you how. Know, I, don't, I don't drink. That's right. I know, but I, I don't know how this is not making you want to drink. Let me tell you something. It's, uh, I don't watch the news, but I have enough friends that call me to scare the shit out of me what's going on. I know. Well, here's the thing. Let me fill you in on what's going on here. Since Talk. I'm in New York City, obviously, you know, I live in the city. Yes. I'm a block away from Times Square. It is dead. Although today was really weird because today was a gorgeous day here. Everybody was out. So I'm just like, why is everybody disobeying the rule of not being out unless you need to be out? Everybody was out because they wanted to be out, not because they needed to be out. However, I had to go out because I needed to because I had to go pick up equipment down at the radio station because we're now all going to be going live from home. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I'm actually live tomorrow. I'm live tomorrow, Saturday. I'll be on from... 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Sunday, okay. 5 p.m. to uh, midnight. So you get to do your thing in your pajamas. I could do it naked and nobody would know. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I won't have to put a filter on because nobody's going to see me. I'm so happy I heard us just say naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're so crazy. Woo. I miss you so much. What do you think, Mr. Indian? <laughs> oh, my. he's looking for me being naked. That's it. He's looking. He's like, what? She's naked? Where? He, he said, naked? <laughs> That's straight up wood right there. Straight up wood. <laughs> That's all wood? <laughs> yeah, it's a wooden Indian. Damn, that, that means he's hard all the time. That's, I think that's what that means, yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, things have not changed. I know I'm going to make people laugh with you. <laughs> oh, boy. No filter live with Astra. <laughs> Listen, that's how it is. Even on my podcast, no filter. Actually, you got to come on my podcast. I absolutely will. And you know that I'm respectful, but I have no filter whatsoever. No, no, no. My podcast has no filter. So really? The, no filter. We curse. We talk. They call me the female Howard Stern for the most part because I'm raw, real, and uncensored. I'm loving it. Yeah. So it's tail listen, you gotta listen to it. Tales over cocktails. Tell all your friends to download it. Actually, I will. Binge listen because what else is everybody doing right now? So you when on, do you when do you actually go on? What what time? Nor what day? Okay, so normally we do it do them on Wednesdays. That's our okay. normal, but now there's not going to be a normal because obviously our no new normal is to stay home. So we actually are able to do uh, our podcast from home. We just did an episode the other day to talk about everything going on. So that was kind of like our trial okay. for, you know, being able to do it on a more frequent basis. But if you have the iHeartRadio app or the Apple podcast app or anywhere you get your, um, your podcast, download Tales Over Cocktails. And the reason why we call it that is because we talk over drinks. Nice. Yeah. And the more drinks you have, the, the more, more comes out. Gets. Oh yeah. There's, <laughs> and there's no filter. So that's right up my uh, alley. Fair right game. There. It's it's all fair game, you know. <laughs> How are you doing otherwise? How's all the family and everybody? Everyone's good. Everybody's on Long Island. Everybody's, you know, sheltered in and Yes. Just staying safe and trying not to catch this thing. And I mean, today, I'm not gonna lie. Because I was out, and for, well, first of all, let me tell you this. I had to go down to the station. Normally, I take the subway. If I don't take the subway, I would normally take an Uber. I said, I'm not doing either. Because one, I don't want to be on the subway. Two, I don't want to be in an Uber where someone could have just been in there with the virus. Absolutely. So my friend who lives down the block has a car. And I said, I need to use your car. So took the car. So I felt safe. I mean, my friends are clean. And even if the car's been sitting for days, so there's nothing in there. Right. So I took the car, went down, did what I had to do. And I'm driving around the city. I thought I was going to be like super quick. No, there's cars everywhere, people everywhere, people walking around shopping. I'm like, 
what's going on? Yeah, some people just don't get it. Actually, they just. I'm don't actually. Get it. I'm upset about it because lately, like, because you know, in the beginning, we all were kind of like, oh, it's no big deal. But as you're seeing how quickly it's progressing, this whole social distancing is a big deal. It's a very big deal. And I'm to the point where whenever I do have to go out, not need to, but have to, right. supermarket-wise or whatever, first of all, I don't have a mask. I don't even know how to get my hands on a mask. But I do walk super fast. And then anyone's walking near me, I hold my breath anytime I walk by them because I don't want to breathe their air. It's crazy. It's, it's psychotic. I actually did something super crazy tonight. I came home with the bags. And I did something I've never done. I actually left the bags outside my apartment door, took everything out of the bag to bring in, sprayed, like Lysoled everything down, then ran the bags to the incinerator to throw them out so that they weren't even in the apartment. Oh, my God. That's crazy. But guess crazy. what? It's better to be safe than sorry. I, I know, but... Be, absolutely. But you know what? But it's making me start to think, like, what is this? Like, how are our lives going to change after this? Well, they're completely changed now, and it's only going... They say it's going to get worse before it gets better. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it is going to get worse before it gets better. You're and, right. And people that think that they can't get it will and can get it. And people who <laughs> think they myself. don't... Right, but people who think they don't have it could actually have it and be carriers and don't know. They say that you could literally have it for three or four days and not even know that you have it. And in the meantime... You could give it to dozens, if not hundreds of people. Right, which is why people need to stay home. Like, people aren't taking it seriously. I thought for a moment people in New York were taking it seriously because known as the city that doesn't sleep, it's been sleeping. Like, I shit you not, Times Square was dead the other night. I mean, dead. I was like, wow. And I actually was in Times Square the middle of the day. I had to go to, to Sirius XM. Okay. So I walked through. It was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and there was maybe... 50 to 100 people there. That's dead. That's yes, dead. Yes. Okay? And I was shocked. But what's crazy is that I'm supposed to be taking a flight home on April 6th. I'm not going anywhere near a plane. I No. Think about how many things, once you go through the front doors of an airport, how many things you're going to touch, be touched, take your shoes off, take this off, put it in a bucket, be touched. Yeah. But no. no way. And it's then that, you, go, you know what? One of my friends actually just did Amtrak down to Florida. So that could be a potential idea. You could take the train back home. No, because they also have a thousand seats in there. Just no, like no, the no, plane no, has... no, no. No, you got to get the ones that has the private, like, bedroom cabin. And how do I know it was sanitized correctly before I well, lay my need... large body in there? What you need to do is bring your own can of Lysol and sanitize it your damn self. Try to find Lysol. I just went to CVS before looking to get rubbing alcohol to mix with moisturizer. <laughs> and they looked Hold at on. me like I had three heads. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, pew. thanks. <laughs> I just so, raised you, you're good. I came up with the new concoction since I can't even find rubbing alcohol to put in with the al aloe lotion. I got mouthwash because mouthwash has alcohol in it. It does. And I mixed the mouthwash, Listerine, the one that's like gasoline, I mix uh -huh. that with moisturizer. And even if it doesn't work, I think that it's working in my own head. So I'm listerining my hands now. You know what? Whatever you need to do to kill these buggers, just do it. You know what's crazy? I heard the other day that the coronavirus doesn't live or cannot live in 134 degree Fahrenheit. Well, and show me a said, place that's 134 degrees besides Dubai. Correct, but... You're, you're right, but listen to this. If you go into a sauna, when you go into a sauna, sauna is after you put the water on those rocks, a 140 to 150. So right. they said if you go into a sauna for a 20-minute interval, come out for two hours, go back into the sauna for 20 minutes at 140, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, you can knock out the whole disease out of your body. But here's the only issue. Yeah. Most of the saunas are in gyms or at massage places, like spas, and they're all closed down. So unless you're lucky to have a sauna at your own house, there's no saunas to go to right now. So what you're saying is I'm shit out of luck after hearing that the other day. Pretty much. I mean, unless for some reason you happen to have a sauna downstairs in that cigar spot, you're fucked. <laughs> oh, I'm fucked. You hear that, Indian? I'm fucked. Yeah. <laughs> So let me just tell, since a lot of your fans seem to be popping on here wondering who I am, I will let them know that I 
worked for two radio stations, one here in New York City. I work for KTU. I'm on air. And I'm also on air at Sirius XM for Pitbull's Globalization. So I work for Pit. So that's who I am for any, anybody who's wondering. I'm not just some random girl that's like, oh my God, I want to talk to Tommy. No, Tommy, you, you definitely, your voice, no matter what day anybody could have that's miserable, whether it's raining, snowing, coronavirus or not, just to hear your voice on the radio or anywhere would brighten up anybody's day. You're always full of life. You're Aww. always positive. And if people could just get to see you on the radio and see your smile, it would make the whole world so much better. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You're so amazing. You and I we, go so far back. People we do know each other us. for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. So we're like, we're like, OG you smoked friends. your very first cigar with me. I did. Oh my God, I did. And I've smoked cigars since then. And we actually have to smoke again together. We do. We Once do. all of this is all done, we're going to have a celebratory cigar. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you got to get your ass back to New York first. So what I'm thinking about doing is renting a, uh, a big SUV. Okay. And dri driving home. I'll sanitize the whole inside of the truck. And then I'll just drive home by myself. Very boring. But at least I'll feel a lot better. Listen, when you're home and you're with the people that you need to be with, that's all you need. Because being in seclusion, I mean, we're pretty much all in that situation. It stinks. But you're super secluded because you've got nobody down there. At least, you know, even though I have... Ready? This is, this is who I have with me. I have my puppy. Aw. <laughs> is that a Yorkie? Yeah, it's a teacup Yorkie. Actually, she's got Instagram, too. Nyla Star the Yorkie. What's her name? Look how tiny, tiny she is. Nyla. So I named her Nyla for my two favorite places in the world, New York, New York and L.A. New York and L.A. You know it. <laughs> Justin Timberlake, didn't he used to have a club called Nyla at one time? I don't know, did he? I think it was either Justin or Britney. Somebody, they had a nightclub called Nyla years, years, years back that actually was open, didn't make it, and uh, it was called Nyla. New Get York, out of here. Yes. I'm going to have to look that up. That's crazy. Google it, Google it, Google it. I will listen. Google's got the answers for almost anything. Almost, yes. Google will tell you that if you have a symptom, you've got cancer. So you can't always believe Google. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Google is it too because I I went to uh, an event August twenty fourth of last year. It was the big freestyle event over at Bald Hill. Uh huh. So a kid that I didn't see for twenty years was one of the security guys letting the cars in, and. Uh, if he's listening to this, I'm not going to mention his name, but if he's listening to this, all of a sudden he's like, Tommy, how you been? I haven't seen you in 20 years. Wow. I got to work for you. And I says, work for me. He goes, I Googled your net worth. It says you're worth 14 million. I said, really? I says, wow. Where is it? <laughs> Where's that? Yeah. You know what? All that money was spent on cannolis. <laughs> and cigars. <laughs> and cigars. And my Cadillacs. And <laughs> That's it. So All that Google, network. Google isn't always true. No, it's not. Especially if it's on Wikipedia. Anybody can edit that stuff. So anything can be said. Anything. When you get off, when you, you're done live tonight, Google yourself and put in Astra's net worth and see how much you're worth. Yeah, it'll be like negative five million. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, who wants to Venmo me? <laughs> Wow. Help me, help me break zero. <laughs> Just get me a little bit above the red, please. Just get me at least $10 in the plus. You know, I just I just need to get myself some food. Otherwise, I'm going to wither away during this. I swear, my apartment is never full of food because living in the city, it's like, you know, nobody really cooks. We just order out all the time. But I'm afraid to order out because I don't want the delivery person to be carrying Corona. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I also don't want it to be on the containers or on the bag or anything. So I'm super like, oh, my gosh, I have to get to the supermarket. And a lot of those delivery people do not get it twisted. These people test and eat the food as they're coming. Don't even yes, tell me do. that. Yes, they do. I would die. <laughs> I'm not going to put the people out there, but I have seen people eat out of the bag before. I mean, the worst thing that's ever happened to me is an Uber, like not an Uber, but a, a delivery guy came and dropped off food. And then two minutes later texted me and was like, hey, I just delivered your food. I just want to let you know that I think you're cute. I'm like, 
Isn't this like against guidelines? Yeah, like, it's a little creepy. Yes. I'm like, what the fuck? But anyway, so my apartment is like, uh, to me, it's stopped because I never have food. So I have food here and it's like, I don't know what to do with myself, but eat. So I've been like trying not to eat because I'm not trying to gain weight during this thing. Well, I guess the coronavirus being that you're quarantined to the house could almost be like a little bit of a diet also. Like the I've been doing, diet. Listen, I've been making TikToks so that I can have a workout because I'm learning these dances on TikTok. And to me, I'm like sweating up the storm, like flipping my arms around and dancing all crazy and stuff just so that I can work out because I can't go anywhere. You should get one of those Fitbit things on your, your wrist and... Well, every store is closed right now, so where am I going to get one? Again, we can Venmo you the money for ask her to get a Fitbit, to get toilet paper. I would prefer the Apple Watch, actually. And to get can, food. We, can we make it an Apple Watch? Are you, so everybody that's out there listening to this right now, Astra <laughs> needs an Apple Watch. So I do. you guys would... <laughs> if, actually, if everybody in the chat room Venmos me, like, $2 each, then... <laughs> I can get myself an Apple Watch. Absolutely. And if there's any money left over, you can get some apples, too. <laughs> that, too. I'll eat apples while working out on my Apple Watch. There you go. Oh, look who popped in the room. Cynthia's here. Cynthia, Cynthia? My Cynthia, yeah. C Cynthia M or Cynthia the Singer? M. Do you know that means Cynthia did a movie together about a yes. month and a half ago? Yes. And when she told me about the movie, she was like, big time Tommy. I'm like, the fuck? Oh, hi, hi Cynthia. How are you, sweetie? <laughs> oh, Wendy Wild is in here too. Wendy's on KTU with me. What up, Wendy? Wendy Wild in the house. So Wendy and I actually are the ones that do tales over cocktails. We also have Danielle and Wes with us, but Wendy and I are the on-air people that you know are on from KTU. So okay. I'm, like, I'm so happy that she popped in here. That's awesome. So she's uh, she actually did her show live from her house this morning. That's amazing. And, I know. Uh, also, hello to everybody out there that's saying hello to me and saying all my uh, catchphrases like OS for old school, OS for life, take it easy, OS nation, thank you, I love I you saw, too. I think I saw Gabagool before. Oh, Gabagool! 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 <laughs> Wendy, we love you! Wendy! Wendy, actually, Wendy, I told Tommy he has to come on our uh, our podcast with us because he's a character and a half. So he's definitely going to be up. Once we're able to head back into work and try to have a normal life again, and when you get back from Florida because you're down in Florida stuck. I am. Look at how beautiful this palm tree is. I mean, listen, I could just imagine how warm it is right now over there. It's right now 77 degrees uh, during Very the day. Nice. It goes up to between 79, 81, and it's okay. absolutely beautiful. But again, you cannot uh, forget that we're in a crisis right now. And uh, besides for the scenery, it is serious what's going on. Everybody out there really needs to stay positive, help each other out. And uh, just stay inside, stay away from people. And, you know, eventually this whole nightmare, which this is a fucking nightmare, will be over. You know, somebody made a, a good point to me, too. You know how with the service industry, especially, you know, um, waiters, waitresses, bartenders, servers, like um, cocktail waitresses, all of them, they're all out of work because all the restaurants are pretty much shut down. Yes. And I do know that there is some sort of something, there's something that they can apply to where they're able to get money from. But the DJs now are like, well, what about us? Because they don't really fall under that category. Right, because most of the DJs that do DJ and work, and I don't know if... Um, They're self-employed. Thank you. And yes. yes. So it's kind of hard for... I, I will tell you, uh, I really don't want to talk about Vinny's business, but he is doing something else for work right now, and he is partners with somebody Good. with a uh, job that's doing very well at the moment. Uh, well, actually, I can say it because it's a positive thing. He, okay. works for, he works for a cleaning company that this cleaning company right now is the uh, busiest that they've ever been because they have something that they spray out of these guns that they work. That, okay. Uh, in, like when they go into the office buildings and whatnot, and when they spray and dust this whole entire area of hotels, of motels, of businesses and everything, it... 
on contact, the stuff that they spray kills the whole coronavirus. What? Yes. So, uh, so why don't they just put that airborne at this point? Because they're saying you know it what? lives it's, in the it's air funny too. That you, it's funny that you said that because I was talking to somebody last night here at the Cigar Lounge that they said, Back in the day when they had the mosquitoes with the Ezekiel or Zico or whatever it oh, was. Oh, the Zika, the Zika virus. They were having planes just drop this mist on everybody yes. Yes. and killing everything. Why can't they do the same thing with this coronavirus? I don't know. And they do say it's airborne, even though they're saying it's got to be some sort of, I guess, like, um, I guess, fluid to fluid. I mean, it's not like it's an STD, but maybe if somebody spits, I guess, you know what I'm saying? But. But it's also yes. airborne, I heard, because if, if it can live on surfaces, to me, that's kind of airborne, because let's just say it is the best. Uh, my, my guy that is in charge, the guy that I, uh, you know, uh, call into and he calls me, his name is Nick over there. Okay, and, uh, I, with, I was going to ask you, I deal with a guy named Matt. Okay, so I literally just did a cameo a little while ago about um, a guy, the guy's name is Trinidad and his uh, wife to be's name is Caitlin. And I had to tell all their guests that April 4th's wedding in Chicago is canceled oh. uh, in, until April 28th. And then I had to, you know, invite everybody back and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, yes, weddings oh. are shut down. DJs are shut down. And Crazy. literally stuff like that. And uh, it's for the best <laughs> because this is really crazy what's going on you know somebody made a, a good point to me too you know how with the service industry especially you know um waiters waitresses bartenders servers like um cocktail waitresses all of them they're all out of work because all the restaurants are pretty much shut down yes. and i do know that there is some sort of something there's something that they can apply to where they're able to get money from but the DJs now are like, well, what about us? Because they don't really fall under that category. Right, because most of the DJs that do DJ and work, and I don't know if... Um, They're self-employed. Thank you. And yes. yes. So it's kind of hard for... I, I will tell you, uh, I really don't want to talk about Vinny's business, but he is doing something else for work right now. And Well, actually, I can say it because it's a positive thing. He, okay. works, for, he works for a cleaning company that this cleaning company right now is the uh, busiest they've ever been because they have something that they spray out of these guns that they work. That, okay. Uh, in, like when they go into the office buildings and whatnot, and when they spray and dust this whole entire area of hotels, of motels, of businesses and everything, it on contact, the stuff that they spray kills the whole coronavirus. What? Yes. So... Uh, so why don't they just put that airborne at this point? Because they're saying you know it lives it's, in the it's air, too. Funny that you, it's funny that you said that, because I was talking to somebody last night here at the Cigar Lounge that they said back in the day when they had the mosquitoes with the Ezekiel or Zico or whatever it oh, was. the Zika, the Zika virus. They were having planes just drop this mist on everybody yes. Yes. and killing everything. Why can't they do the same thing with this coronavirus? I don't know. And they do say it's airborne, even though they're saying <clears throat> it's got to be some sort of, I guess, like, um, I guess, fluid to fluid. I mean, it's not like it's an STD, but maybe if somebody spits, I guess, you know what I'm saying? But but it's also yes. airborne, I heard, because if, if it can live on surfaces, to me, that's kind of airborne, because let's just say it's sitting on, you know, cardboard, and then you touch the cardboard, and then you touch your face, you're like, you're done. So Absolutely. tell me how... That, like, tell me how it's not airborne or it is airborne. I'm just, I don't know. It's it's so crazy because it's there are so confusing. many unanswered questions because it's Correct. so new that yes. everybody's finding out things, like, by the minute. Like, when I was in CVS today and I grabbed the one bottle of uh, mouthwash and I said, no, that's not the one that I need. And I pushed that one over. The one that I touched could have been touched previously by somebody that has it. Right. And that I was saying that to someone too, even food shopping, like I've been spraying down everything I bring in because, you know, people touch things and move things over. I don't know if somebody who touched it has it. That's one of the reasons why I've never, ever eaten at a buffet because it's some freaky oh. shit at a buffet. People you're, sneeze in those. Yes, they do. Or they, like, they dip their hands in and touch stuff. I'm like, come on. You know, those, uh, those spit things, the, the glass that comes down. Yes, it's probably the covered, average, right? Right. They say the average size person is 5'7". So yeah. anybody 5'7 and above, obviously the spit's going on the glass. Anybody yep. that's 5'6", 
ten or six eleven and under and under is spinning all over the food. Which is basically us. <laughs> is basically us, yes. <laughs> so we're spinning on the food. Well, I'm not walking... a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just saying, if we were walking by looking at it, like, who eats this shit? And all yes, of a sudden it's all and, over. And, and what's crazy is I watched a, a show one day. It was either 2020, 6060, or whatever the hell it was. And they were showing <laughs> back in the day... Remember when all the uh, cruise ships, everybody was getting sick? Yeah. They said that the biggest thing on the cruise ships are the railings that you use to go up and down from oh my, whatever yes. it was. Yes, and, between that and, I mean, I think about that too, even when I'm on an escalator. I don't even touch. Yes, yes. And they, and, and they watching this episode also went from showing the railings, the cruise boats, the people that were quarantined on the cruise uh, ships for two weeks at a clip. They were also showing buffets, and they had one of these high-powered microscopes at the end of the buffet. And just like I'm talking to you now, and you're talking to me, mm -hmm. when those micro things uh, uh, to, to, uh, turned on full blast, you see spit coming out of people's mouth. Oh, yeah. And as they're talking, hey, would you like some of this? You're spitting all over the floor. Everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. And it, it's just so nasty. I've never eaten at a buffet. And this was even way before this corona shit. There's a lot of germs out there that we take for granted that we're, you know, just eating at buffets. They're nasty. They're yep. nasty. Yep. Stop eating at buffets, everybody. I mean, luckily, no, there's no buffets open right now, so nobody's eating at them. Thank God. I'm putting you back on, Tommy. I'm getting you back. <laughs> Tommy, all I know is I'm sitting here, and it just said live chat ended. So I didn't it know if your my side died. Too. My side, or too. This is what I'm thinking. I feel like Instagram shuts us off after a certain amount of time. That may be possible. Because there's no way that the Instagram live just ended like that. There's no way. There's got the, the greater forces. <laughs> and I'm the upset because we had so many questions coming in and now the questions are gone. But there was one question that was on here that I was going to pop up for you guys. And the question was, um, Cameo. How can they get us on Cameo? So I figured we could promote that for them. Absolutely. Go. You go first, sweetie. Okay. So if you guys want to get me on Cameo, all you have to do is uh, go to Cameo. They have an app. Just download the app. Uh, you can actually search for all of us. Any search for any person's name that you know is out and about, and you might find somebody that you want to have record any type of message for you. The message could be anything, right, Tommy? Like it could be birthday, anniversary, divorce. I want to break up. I want to marry you. I want to be your girlfriend i want to be your boyfriend i want you to marry me whatever it is absolutely absolutely and... cameo.com it uh, the creator of cameo is what a fun fun uh thing that it is cameo that people that you may not have ever been able to get next to close to or uh have a conversation with if you're lucky enough for that person to be on cameo once you go on a cameo, you put into the little search engine at the top, Astra, Big Time Tommy. If we're on there, which we are, our our faces will pop right up. And like Wait, you said, it'll let be... Let me set the mood. Hey, uh, you're live on the air with Astra. We're live. We are interviewing Tommy right now. Big Time Tommy. Tell us how we can order you on cameo. So you just go on to cameo.com, go into the search, put in the name Astra, and then you hit boom search it'll bring right to your face or big time tommy right to my face and then whatever the fee is uh then you just do your thing with the credit card and before you know it you could have a birthday shout out anniversary shout out uh you could even tell somebody that you know your boyfriend doesn't like you anymore or your girlfriend hates your guts or <laughs> hey, guess what well here's what i'm doing on cameo actually i'll let everybody know yes um, go I ahead posted about it yesterday what I want to do is I want to take a portion of the proceeds and donate it to help fight this coronavirus situation. Oh, my so, God. That's amazing. Yeah. So that's if amazing. anybody wants... You're such an amazing wants, person. Oh, thank you. If anybody wants to get a Cameo, you know, you can just go to Cameo.com and order a Cameo from me. And I'm going to put a percentage of the proceeds to help out with the coronavirus. And for everybody that's actually helping out with it, especially like, you know, the nurses. Big shout out to all the nurses and doctors and everybody at all the hospitals that are like risking Absolutely. their lives right now to help yes. save other lives. Yes. You know, these poor, like 
and not just even like these poor doctors and nurses, but even like NYPD, big shout out to the NYPD, because I mean, they're out there too, enforcing that like, no crime is happening right now, especially NYPD, since a lot of the fire not, departments. Yes, fire, uh huh. All the of emergency the, like, rescue the, services. Yeah, yep, yes. all the service, like all everybody in emergency services and all of that, like all of the essential employees. Big shout out to all of you guys for keeping this world going. Yes, and thank you for keeping the streets of New York where we come from safe. Oh yeah, I have to tell you, it's like it's it's actually very eerie walking around New York now because it's so quiet. I will tell you also this because you know I live like I said in the heart of New York City. I don't hear horns honking. I don't hear any cars driving by. I feel like I'm living back on Long Island, but I'm in the city. Hey, it's 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 serious what's going on, and 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 people are taking what's going on serious and thank God people are listening. And uh, maybe they're out during the day in full force going out and uh, whatever jobs that are still available to have right now, people going out to get the essentials that they need for, you know, their home. But mm -hmm. once it gets time to five or six o'clock, uh, people are home where they should be. Yeah. Oh, we have a question. I don't know if you're going to be able to answer it because you don't watch the news, but Tommy, how do we help Italy from Colfax? I will let you guys know there is a uh, on Instagram. There's an Instagram page called Growing Up Italian. Mm -hmm. The guy's name is Sabino. S-A-B-I-N-O. Okay. He's, o he's over from Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And the page is Growing Up Italian. They are doing all sorts of things to give back to the people in Italy that uh, people are sick, the people that have lost loved ones and stuff like that. So uh, look them up on Instagram, and it is called Growing Up Italian. And you know that Italy, I don't know if, since you don't watch the news, but I'll let you know, Italy actually has surpassed the number of deaths over China now. Well, and uh, the reason why I'm gathering from hearing all of this is because the, the people in Italy are mostly older, like... Uh, you know, 60, 70, 80 years old. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And what's happening is there's a lot of people from China going over to Italy and buying uh, department stores, restaurants, mom and pop shops, businesses, and they're traveling back and forth from China to Italy. And mm -hmm. they're giving the coronavirus to the people of Italy. And it's spreading like wildfire. And if you're 70 years old, you're not going to be able to fight this with the immune system. And... I heard that 745 people have died in the last couple of days over there. And rest in peace to all the people that have died. And, 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 and I'm so sorry for your loss, everybody from Italy. I'm also sorry for everybody else's loss all over the world. All over. Have, have uh, loved ones that are sick and, and loved and ones that And even right here died. in our own backyard. Everybody Absolutely. here in the tri-state area. I mean, it's just, it's gotten crazy. It has. It has. It really has. And it's... It's devastating. And I know a lot of people are always focusing on the negative. Of course, we got to try to focus on some of the positive. I was reading that um, a lot of wildlife is coming back because of the fact that we're all, you know, self-quarantining and not really being out and about. I heard that there's fish that are swimming in Venice again. There's dolphins oh. that are being seen out in the ocean again. So maybe the, the world just needs to take a rest to bring back life. I like that. I like that. I uh, you know. actually like how you said that. And if that's what it, it, if that's what it's going to take, I mean, it, it sucks that you have to have a negative to bring out a positive. But sometimes in life, things have got to get bad before they get good. And uh, right. and if we could have positive things at the end of this rainbow, uh, that would be amazing. All I need is a quarantine, buddy. That's all I need. And P.S., <laughs> let me just put this out here because a lot of people are putting these on the questions. Tommy and I are not dating. Tommy and I are not together. They're like, are you going to give Tommy your digits? Like, he has my number, but we're even <laughs> friends. Long-time friends, guys. We're long -time For a very friends. long time. And, and I've had Astra's digits for a long time. A long time. And I wanted to bring Tommy on the chat with me because he's such a positive, fun, upbeat person that in a time right now, we just need to... Kind of like if we're all going to be sitting home miles, doing nothing, we might miles, as well just yes. get some entertainment and have some fun. And you're you, like I said, you oh, you're like a ray of sunshine, so you always bring a ton of fun. It's actually, good, good. It's not even a question, but it's really a comment. But it is kind of a question. But it's a good topic. 
What do you say for all of the young ones who think it's still cool to hang out right now? It's coming from Woof Lapo, which is a really good point because a lot of the younger people that I've been seeing on the news, and I know you don't watch the news, a lot of them are still going out celebrating spring break because they feel like they're going to be gypped from their spring break, not understanding how serious things are right now. That yes. It doesn't matter if you want to go out and party. It's the mere fact that you could be infecting someone or getting infected yourself. You, you couldn't have said it any better, and it's true, because being down here in Delray Beach, I'm meeting kids on a daily basis when I'm out for my couple hours during the day that just got off the plane that day or the day before, knowing what's going on, coming down here for spring break. But very soon, they said that the cops are going to go on the beach and chase the kids off during the day because it's so crowded down there. The blankets are literally right on top of each other, and there's too many crowds on the beach. Kids... Uh, this is a real thing. And if you can, just stay the fuck home. And you always have spring break next year. Uh, you can't go to spring break if you're not alive. So stay home where it's safe. Stay home with your mom and dad or your loved ones, whoever you're in the house with. And just stay positive and stay alive. And uh, spring break will always be here next year. Right. All those places are still going to be around. You know, Absolutely. you can even move your spring break to summer. It's not the end of the world. That's right. That's right, Astra. You know, if everybody were to just stay home right now, I feel like this virus would go away quicker. The longer people are, are lo like hanging out there, the longer it's going to linger. Yeah, and, and keep being spread. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You are the bomb. Astra! Oh. <laughs> oh, right beats Astra in the house! Well, Woo! listen... You let me know when you're coming back to New York City and we're going out for Italian Astra, food. I'm going to right now scream right now to the person at the light at the intersection. If you can hear me, beep the horn. Astra in the house. <laughs> Woo! Holy shit. That's right. <laughs> That's how big time Tommy gets down. You are crazy. I love it. I, I love, love you, it. Astra. I love you. I love you. you too. Listen, next time you're up here... Um, you're coming to the city. We're going to go out for Italian food, a cannoli, and a cigar. Absolutely. All three things. All right. Perfect. You're the best. Keep on doing what you do. Big shout out to all you of do. your amazing followers and to the haters as well. Love you too. I love the haters. I love the positive people. I love you. I love everybody. Let's get through this coronavirus. And, yes. and, and that's it. Find Tommy and I on Cameo and... Make sure you guys continue to sanitize, wash your hands, and stay inside. Thank you for having of me on. Of course. Anytime. Anytime. You know that. I need some more horns! Oh! Delray B! You are... <laughs> You're hey, freaking I crazy. I love you. I'm fucking amused. <laughs> it's only <laughs> me, the palm tree, and the wooden Indian. <laughs> Oh, my God. Listen, do me a favor and stay safe. Get home safely. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. All right. You. Do not go near anybody. Six feet away, please. Mwah. Much love. Love you. You're I'll talk best. to you soon. You're All the right. son of this whole world. Oh, thank Keep you, Keep shining bright. Keep shining bright. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll talk Bye, to you sweetie. soon. Bye. Bye.